Finally, Minister, uh, this week there has been issues around more and very serious issues around image-based crimes and so-called revenge porn. There are online folders with thousands of images that have been taken and shared without consent. This primarily affects young women and some of them are underage. I'd like to send a clear message to anyone whose images have been shared without your consent. It is not your fault, you didn't do anything wrong and you're not to blame. However, unfortunately, despite warnings about situations like this one, image-based sexual abuse is still not a crime here. So these violations of women have been facilitated by the state's inadequate policy and inaction. There is legislation before the Justice Committee on this that needs to be accelerated now. And I welcome what you said about doing it in the next year, but it's not soon enough, it has to happen now. This House must be clear. Consent has to be at the heart of this. Where consent is not present, the law must step in. Currently, uh, there are incredible activists and support groups working on the issue to help victims. Minister, you need to show them today that this government has their back. This House can move quickly, not before the end of the year now. We saw this yesterday in relation to Zub Dublin Zoo. We've seen it in the past in relation to the banks. I'm asking you to move immediately to protect victims of what we all know is a crime, but today is still not considered one. Minister, I'm glad it's you um, that I'm speaking to in relation to this. I admire the work you've been doing in relation to rape trials, and I'm asking you to please, please, please take action on this now. We will all support you. I think we all will. Um, as a nation, we also need to have an incredibly serious and difficult conversation about this and other related issues. Thousands of Irish men are sharing images of women and girls without their consent. There are horrific levels of sexual violence in our colleges. We all know victims of domestic abuse, rape or sexual assault, and this shouldn't be the norm. It's International Men's Day today, um, so I'd like to ask all men, if you see or receive an image being circulated without consent, call it out. You can and should speak up in WhatsApp groups, in conversation, and in any given situation, call it out. You. When you don't, you're complicit and you're supporting a culture that facilitates gender-based abuse and we need zero Thank tolerance. You. To achieve that, we need you. Thank, Thank you, you, Deputy. Sorry. Thank you, Deputy. Moving back to the uh, government, Deputy uh, Mernan O'Connor, eight minutes. Thank you.